Hi there, I'm Miller Sipka, and this is the Patrick's Review. Now, this episode we take a look at one of the first ever 1980s slashes from Canada, but I'm sorry, I meant Canada, to be released direct to video over there. It was issued on the Canadian VHS label Marathon Video, which is a source of the VHS rip I've managed to come across on the Internet Archive and since I added to my collection. So if you want to find it there. This film is Possession, also known as Possession Until Death Do You Part, which was uh, released, I mean, directed by Michael Mazzo and Lloyd A. Simendel in 1987. Now, this is a seriously deranged piece of work that was one of the first features from North American Pictures, a Canadian directed video company that was present in the VHS scene from the mid 1980s uh, into a fair way into the 1990s. They also released Extra 2 The Second Encounter, which was, for my money, a passable in name only sequel to the cult classic British original, despite having somewhat bad reputation. When she manages to escape a psychopathic serial killer with mommy issues, Madeline returns to her home in, Can- in a Canadian sorority house and convinces her fellow sisters to help her hunt down and waste the creep. They head out to do so, only to find Psycho already on their trail. He, already was, he was shouting out. But the loon inadvertently kills a cop in the process, causing the formidable Canadian police, seriously man, don't fuck with those guys, their military earned the fearsome reputation for being nasty, to take over the hunt and literally blow away the screwball who was trying to escape in a rowboat. However, he ain't dead. Aye, just a flesh wound, sire. After visiting his dead mother's grave, the psycho decides to get his revenge on the entire sorority. He follows them as they head to your stereotypical slash movie log cabin, where he waits the girls out, wasting each one as they find a moment to be alone. But these girls manage to take him down once, so they can clearly do it again. If only they can find a working weapon in the cabin instead of wasting their money on male strippers over the ladies' night out. With a cast of once and you done amateurs who never worked in another film again, Except for protagonist hero Charlie Martin, built his Melissa Martin, who did a stint as a Friday the 13th victim in Jason Takes Manhattan. This could have been another cruddy 1980s slasher, and given the quality of original generation mid 1980s director video fair, this should have been worse. But somehow, possession until death do you part, or possession, whatever the hell you prefer, narrowly avoids the demise but being somewhat amusing in places, with one of the most hyperactive and eccentric slasher villains in history. This bloke acts like Norman Bates being strung out of meth and has a habit of not dying when shot. Why is he on PCP as well? Despite being perfectly human. It could be possible that his dead mother's ghost might be protecting him, much like that obscure comic book female superhero is possessed by the spirits of victims of suffering who protect their sweet human ride by giving her unnatural luck and avoid deadly situations or obstacles. Anywho, this is some real bad shit with a plot that peaked far too early. The structure of the story is way out of whack, with a first act that by normal respect should be the last, some mediocre acting from the inexperienced cast, Characters that you'll find hard to tell apart. In fact, I had to watch the film very carefully to be able to identify the female victims by name in order to catalog the nudity as they're virtually indistinguishable from each other. Plus, the killings are completely without life as the killer prefers to simply stab people in the chest or back via a butcher's knife or a long screwdriver. At least Jason Voorhees could turn just about any object into a lethal opera improvised murder weapon. This film could have something of value as prim- prima bad movie masochist laughter fuel, but as a serious horror film, it is quite simply a piece of junk. Possession until death do you part has earned itself a D, 2 out of 10. It's a fairly bad movie. Now, for good nudity. There is a rather substantial amount of nudity here, as at least four of the female cast provide some exposed wobbly bits. Uh, Jocelyn Lavoie takes a shower where you see all of her. Geraldine Farrell takes a bath of the boob scene. April Alkins also has a shower where you see everything. And the lead, Shelley Martin, has a boob out when she gets out of bed. As for Gore, this movie lacks a great deal of blood. In fact, there's very little blood scene here, which is criminal for an A slasher, even one from Kazakhstan. Uh, I mean Canada. Okay. Okay, so I give this one a D, 2 out of 10. It's bad. Okay, and, but to be honest, if you're a bad movie masochist, this is definitely an amusing one to get. Not so bad, it's good, but yeah. I think some people will. If you come across this film, you'll definitely enjoy it for its badness. Anyway, that's bad. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, or associated trivia for this review subject, please leave in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. Hope you guys are staying safe, take easy, and see ya.